Consumer Reports says running an air purifier is a good idea to keep dust, smoke, and other allergens at bay inside your home, but can it help protect you from virus particles in the air like the coronavirus? Consumer Reports says the answer isn't a simple yes or no. For an air purifier to be effective, it must be able to consistently draw enough air to reduce the amount of particles which contain the virus that persist in the air. The HEPA filters in most residential air purifiers are certified to capture 99.97% of particles that are 0.3 micron in diameter. But the filters also capture both smaller and larger particles even more effectively, including the coronavirus. But if someone in your home is sick, they should be isolated in a separate room with an air purifier. Even then, an air purifier isn't a cure-all. The faster an air purifier can exchange air in a room, successfully passing the air through its filter, the better its chances are of capturing those virus-laden particles. Even then, it's not going to eliminate all the particles in the room, nor will the filter capture viruses that have landed on surfaces in the room. Consumer Reports says along with the use of an air purifier, people should continue to practice social distancing, wear protective face masks, and follow other guidelines provided by the CDC. This $830 air purifier from Blue Air is the best and fastest air purifier in Consumer Reports' particle reduction test. However, it's pricey and noisy at its highest speed. For less money, consider this Honeywell. It scores excellent and very good ratings at its highest speed and lower speed respectively. Consumer Report says you can see how fast an air purifier cleans the surrounding air by looking for its clean air delivery rate number on the packaging. Choose a model with more than 240. That means a particular air purifier can perform roughly five air exchanges per hour in a suggested room size. And don't forget, simply opening your windows and allowing fresh air can help clear the air in a room. Lauren Vernon, Channel 4, The Local Station.